Hi, Nicole here. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to another video. I'm excited about this one. I am sharing the top 10 kind of miscellaneous items that I have incorporated into my photography business that make my life easier, that make my life organized and efficient, whether I'm on location on a photo shoot or at home when my gear is stored and organized. I've been a photographer for 10 years and I've been using some of these items consistently since the beginning. So I wanted to share and help just in case you're looking for some better organization and efficiency in your business. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I love organization. I love to be efficient. I love to be organized and efficient on a photo shoot. So I wanted to share some items that I've been using for the past 10, 11 years. And hopefully if you've been a photographer for a while or just getting into it, some things may be new that you can try if you're looking to get more organized. All right, the first thing I wanted to highlight are the Pelican 1050 cases. This is what I use to protect smaller equipment, but you know, it's still valuable equipment. You want to protect it. I have my receiver and transponder for my lighting equipment in here, and I know it's protected, but the other key piece to this um, case is that it has a clear top. You're going to see this theme throughout where something is visually, you can see it, grab it, go. You want to keep it fast, efficient, you want to grab something and that's kind of a key underlining um, theme that you'll see. So I love that these are clear on top. I know exactly what's in there. I can grab and go. The other thing with these cases, so they come in different colors. I love this. So if I had both of these cases out with me on location, I know what's going to be in one because I always keep it the same. But if I'm at home and I have these stored away, I know the red one always has my Rode Wireless Go um, equipment in there and I can just grab and go and make a video like this. Okay, so that is the first item I wanted to share. The next item is a level. This is a magnetic level. They're not expensive. It has two directions, which I like. And I use this all the time when I'm making video because I always want my line. Um, so I have this maybe on the tripod if I'm making different adjustments. This is always helpful. It'll stick right to the tripod and then I, I'm good to go. But it's just always a handy tool to have if you're doing product photography or you're doing video. This is great. Okay. And third item, and if you're starting out in photography, you'll find a, a lot of things add up quickly, but rechargeable batteries are a great investment because you'll notice a lot of things will have batteries just like the, the transponder and lighting equipment. Those take uh, AA batteries. So I always have batteries. I have a ton of these rechargeable batteries and part of my prep process is always charging batteries. With that being said, so if I'm going on location, I'll have batteries in my gear, but it's always good to have backup batteries just in case. So if you have a speed light and you're going to be using it a lot, it's always good to have spare batteries with you. And that comes into storing the batteries. I've had these for 10 years and so the big plus to this battery storage is the bright color. So when I open my bag and I need a battery quick, I know I can see this, grab it, go, keep the photo shoot going. So I wanted to highlight this. They come in um, a big pack, so you'll have multiple depending on your shoot and very helpful, use this a ton. Okay, so now let's talk about your memory cards. I've had this storage container for over 10 years and what the best feature besides being small and compact and can store in my bag is that they hold multiple formats. So underneath the CF card, you'll see there's another card underneath. So this is great. Been using it since the beginning for the past 10 years. This has been super helpful. Okay, so then that gets into your camera cleaning kit. Every photographer should have this so you can keep your 
here clean, but I always bring it along with me. So just in case if you're on location, you may need to clean a lens. So a cleaning kit is always ideal. That brings me to how I'm storing all these miscellaneous items when I have m multiple gear bags. I have this Think Tank bag. This is the smaller, I think it's a version 10 bag. I've had this uh, for 10 years, so it's clear on either side. But the one I linked below, if you were researching it, it's clear on one side, but having it clear is ideal because you wanna be able to, oh, where did I put um, maybe your backup batteries if you threw this inside, you can quickly see it, grab and go. So in this bag, I have business cards in the front, easy to grab. I'll keep my cleaning kit in here. So I'll put this in here. I'll have my memory cards in here. And another item that I've recently added is a multi-tool. So this has a screwdriver. These are just always good, especially if you're on location photographer, you may have a need to loosen a bolt on a tripod or if your hands are so cold or so hot, it just is another convenient tool to just always have when you have so much gear and prepping. So this is something I'll add into the Think Tank bag and this will now go into my bag and this is always with me so i've been using this again for over 10 years and it's been great so another item that i kind of put into practice is bungee cords and i started using these when i got the multi cart and when i load that with so much gear and start moving across a parking lot, or if it's not a so smooth surface, things can start to shift. And bungee cords have saved me. So I can securely get everything onto the cart, move right into a location, and these have been great. This kit comes with all different sizes. So sometimes if I have, let's say, some audio equipment attached to let's say an iPhone and it's on a tripod, there's even little small ones that I can attach and make sure everything is secure. So I'm always protecting that gear and this bungee cord, um, these bungee cords have been great. So in photography, you're gonna have a ton of cords and cable management is always a hot topic, but you always wanna have it organized so you don't have cords all over the place when you go to grab a piece of gear and everything's tangled up. So I have been using the two different styles. This one is great because you can simply put it over an item and then tighten it up, slip that down. Or there's these bongo cords where I just, they're kind of rubberized. So they stick really well and they can just slip over like this battery pack, or you can loop it and have it attached to um, the other side of the cord as well. So based on what your what cables that you're managing, I gave you those two options. I've been using both and they have been great. Okay. Now, when you are home and you're storing all your gear, this is how I've been storing my gear and I can't wait to show you this. These are clear shoe boxes and they're stackable. So I have a closet where I have a shelf and I stack three high. And when I go to get more batteries, I know exactly to go to this drawer because I can see through. And I can grab all my batteries and they're in that great bright color. So it's clear, it's not too deep. These are four inches high. There are bigger ones, but if you have bigger gear, that would be great. If you're doing smaller items like this, if you can keep everything into one layer, it'll be much easier to open, grab, and go. I wouldn't recommend doing multiple layers of various items because it's, in, it's gonna become like a junk drawer and that will be not organized or efficient. So I have been loving these drawers. I've probably had them for over 10 years and they're a great solution for when I'm home and then I can now store everything. So I always have batteries, kind of like a battery drawer. You can have a drawer just for um, different cables if you want, but these are great. These are probably like my number one at home storage item for um, 
items like this. Okay, so those are my 10 top items that keep me organized and efficient as a photographer. I hope you found it all helpful. I've outlined everything below, but please let me know if you have any questions. Until next time, bye.